Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge Podcast, episode number 169. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music. And also check out at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And without further ado, let's get started. Episode number 169, kids. Mm. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while we sleep, we will find you working on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Yeah, that song gets really fucked up if you listen to the actual lyrics, and yeah, kids, literacy is important, okay? Literacy is fucking important in this day and age right now, where motherfuckers don't read. And this is where we're going to start episode number 169. Welcome to your life. There is no turning back. Curse of knowledge. Oh, boy. I gotta smoke this episode, kids. I do. I do. You know why? I ain't take the goddamn edge off. Can't believe I'm saying the same goddamn shit my dad did. Holy fuck. Noticing I'm saying a lot of the same shit my dad did. A couple years back, like, ah, now, 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 now I'm this bitter ass old fuck. But yeah. When you're when you're just fucking processing information and just hours and hours on end, god damn man. It is exhausting. It is. But before we get into all that shit, let's start with a, let's start it off with a quote. Alright? I know that I know nothing. Socrates. The words of an ancient Greek philosopher. Something that should hold up to today's standard. Just completely over everyone's heads. I know that I know nothing. When your average person hears this quote, they're automatically going to think, You don't think I know anything, motherfucker? You think I'm stupid? That's racist! Like, ah, shit, here we go. That's sexist! That's homophobic! Oh, God, bro, I don't give a fuck! You are letting your ego get in your fucking head, son! Or ma'am. Or fuck. Or cunt. Whatever the fuck I'm going to call you. Wake the fuck up, motherfucker. I know that I know nothing. It's a very simple idea of keeping an open fucking mind. Opening your horizons to new fucking ideas. That's what the whole goddamn quote means. Holy fucking shit. When an idiot like me has to fucking break this shit down and explain it in choppable, digestible pieces, that's when you know society is a fucking problem. This world is so goddamn jagged and fucking all up in its own goddamn head through stupid ass emotions. Can't fucking think anymore! And that's why I'm fucking smoking so much. That's why I'm smoking so goddamn much right now, man. Can't fucking deal with people right now, man. They're just the fucking stupidity that just presides over everybody just perpetually angry perpetually just talking nonsense you just got to be asking yourself like wow if you just could process this quote i know that i know nothing then just just maybe maybe the toxicity of those fucking social media sites go down by like 30 percent. and I'm, I'm being really generous with that number but Jesus, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. You know the real sad, sad part about our reality today? Despite living in the glorious age of information, where you can literally know anything and everything at the fucking... A fucking... Press of a fucking thumb or a goddamn button. Or if you're one of those fucking weirdos, you just smack your goddamn dick on your fucking phone. Like, you could have information at the speed of life instantaneously. Just like that. If you wanted to know, oh shit, how much does a fucking Pikachu weigh? Then, well, 
you fucking type it on Google or Bing or Yahoo, whatever fucking search engine you use. Who, who fucking uses Bing? Although, if you're going to watch porn, you should use the Sarah Bing search engine because it doesn't filter out any uncensored shit on the images or videos, generally speaking. Google does. That shouldn't even be a secret. That should just be a thing. But yeah, man, you just fucking search that shit up. It'll be like, oh, it's a rat type electric mouse. Rat type electric mouse. Yeah, it's fucking redundant as shit, but it'll give you the weight. It'll give you the highlight. The information's right there at your fucking fingertips. You are literally holding the entire fucking knowledge of the entire human race in the fucking palm of your hand. Yet what do you motherfuckers choose to do? Yet what do you motherfuckers choose to do? Just be perpetually angry at the wrong thing. At the wrong people. You are looking at the wrong enemy. All of you. All of you. Oh, you're racist. All of you. Bitch ass motherfuckers, I swear to God, dude. I mean, it's really sad, man. It really is sad. I mean, you have the information at the fucking palm of your hands. Like right there with your fucking phones. Yet the world has choosed. They have willfully gone the route of ignorance. And I mean in terms of everything. I mean in, in, in every fucking goddamn field. Social, political, economical, mental, spiritual issues. Every, and that's not, that's not even all of it. That's not even all of it. That's just like the bare fucking minimum of like, what the fuck is happening? God damn, man. Like, it just, it bothers me to my core. Knowing that people know nothing and they choose to know nothing. I know that I know nothing. And I choose. I fucking choose to try to learn more shit because you know why guys you know why you know why there's the old saying knowledge is power knowledge is power and the adage of course with the fucking lazy cunts out there is always ignorance is bliss yeah you cucked out motherfucker ignorance is bliss yeah I'm here to tell you, ignorance isn't bliss. Ignorance is suicide. You know why? And it's, it's very simple. It's very simple as we sit here in 2020. We live in the age of information. Now, if you don't have information in the age of information, what do you think you are? Huh? What do you, what do you think you are? Dun, 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 dun. You're fucked! Motherfucker, you are fucked! That's what the fuck you are! God damn it! How the fuck is this like a fucking astrophysics equation for you motherfuckers out there? Holy shit! It's absolutely unbelievable. Really is, really is. And one of my issues with all this shit is, I'll be really honest. I've been that fucking person. I've been that fucking person. And I get mad when I see the same fucking idiots do the same fucking thing. I'm like, oh, dude, I, I've been in that shoe. Son of a bitch. What are they doing? It's only going to lead to your, like, your, your, your fucking downfall, dude. Like, ah, come on. What are you doing? Wah. Wah. Ah. But no one's going to care. No, no one's going to care. No one's going to care about any of this shit. It's all going to go over everyone's heads. They're just going to be comfortable with what they're fed. Here you go. This is what's happening. Do you believe what's happening? Because you should. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. Oh, I guess this is what's happening. 
I mean, you you are your own human being, right? You can, you can walk up from your fucking chair and, and, and look around and shit and like, use your fucking eyes, right? I mean, of course, of course, there are, there are people who can't. There are people who can't. And I, I have to recognize that, of course. Because that that's just how life works. But if you have full fucking capacity, you know, mental, physical, all that shit, what the fuck is your goddamn excuse? Huh? I just get fucking irritated nowadays. Mainly because as powerful as knowledge is, and it is truly a powerful thing, knowledge. Knowledge conquered dynasties. Knowledge conquered armies. Knowledge brought empires. Knowledge rose nations. Knowledge probably brought you here. Knowledge brought me here. Right? And that's this is a general idea, right? The knowledge is a general idea. And that could be, you know, in any any kind of field, right? I mean, you you could get knowledge in in sports ball, you know, music, um, literature, art, you know, human behavior, all all this shit. You can it's all knowledge. And if you want it, you can get it. Especially now, the age of information. It's it's right there. Right fucking there. Like lean cuisine style, just like when you're Ooh, all ready and good to go. But again, most of you just choose to close the book on that. And there are some of us where the knowledge is just so tantalizing that we go in for it. And I will be honest, knowledge can feel overbearing at times. Usually is. Usually is. I'll say one thing right now. I have been, over the last few days, going on kind of the the red pill tour, so to speak, for myself. A couple of videos here and there, articles here and there, reading activities here and there, and boy, oh boy, <laughs> boy, oh boy, there are a lot of interesting things happening in this world right now. And there's one thing that I feel a lot of you have to keep in mind. The truth will force you to self-destruct. It'll cause your self-destruction. The truth usually does. The truth will open your eyes. It can open your mind. It can open your heart. And it fundamentally changes your perspective. It fundamentally changes how you see things. And that does usually lead to self-destruction because what are you initially before any sort of truth? You are the compilation of experiences and, and all these other fucking things. And once you experience that truth and it kind of just shatters your preconceived notion of everything that you've lived and experienced through, it breaks you. It does. And that's the self-destruction aspect of it. But through self-destruction, there is a painful process of self-actualization. And I'll say painful because it takes a while to accept the truth. It does take a while to accept the truth. But once you start beginning that process of self-actualization, it can eventually and perhaps possibly lead you to some enlightenment. And there's a lot of plenty of steps in between, but this is how I look at things. The truth will destroy you. It is a self-destruction tool, but it'll lead you to your self-actualization and it'll lead you to enlightenment. And I'll give you a perfect example. I'll give you a fucking perfect example. And brace yourself, kids. It is story time. Religion. Religion. I remember... All throughout high school and most of middle school. Moving here to Las Vegas 
uprooting your life from Los Angeles felt painful. It did. And I just thought, wow, this is going to suck. And and I remember living in Las Vegas for the first time, finding church, you know, religion, a social circle. I thought it was awesome making friends and finding kind of my own identity with within the circle and shit. I, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And you venture into high school and a lot of these ideas, you know, brought on by the church, it kind of had a bit of a schism and friction with the way, you know, you're kind of living your day-to-day social life in a school. Then once you go to college, I mean, it, it, it is a completely different game. And the truth of what I saw with religion was it was a scam (laughs) in my eyes it was a fucking scam there was a guy who comes up once every fucking week he stands there for a fucking hour or so talking from a fucking book that by all means is a work of fucking fiction and he tells you how to live your fucking life Or no, more specifically, he tells you this is how God is telling you to live your fucking life. And once I got to college, I just thought, wait a minute, that's fucking bullshit. Why the fuck do I need to do that? Like, what the fuck are you talking about with this God shit? Like, what? This motherfucker doesn't need my motherfucking money. And how is this goddamn dude who's speaking once a week driving a fucking Lexus? Like, yo, this motherfucker talking about goddamn, you know, keeping strong, sturdy relationship with your loved ones and, and, you know, not being a cheating scumbag, but there you are being a fucking piece of shit. And so that truth just kind of shook me up during college. It, It truly shook me up to my core. I mean, you have to realize, I was a fucking dedicated churchgoer. I used to go to fucking church every goddamn day that I could in middle school and high school. Like, yeah, shit where, man, motherfucker, yeah, Sundays where you're going to fucking church, you're doing all this garbage, and then, what, I think it was like Wednesday, you had like the youth meeting on like summers and you would fucking sing and you know do all this shit and you follow that up with like thursday friday saturday sunday just going to church every fucking day like that's how fucking dedicated i was that's how for me like i thought like cool this is a belonging this is bigger than me this is you know fitting in like i can't you know i can't lie and say i had a lot of friends back then like you know when i was younger like personal on a personal level kind of thing like i never really felt connected and so the church really gave me kind of a really opening to 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 get that taste of socializing and shit but yeah by the time i got to college man it it was just painfully obvious like whoa the hypocrisy and the corruption of the bullshit like i i fucking can't I can't deal with this shit. It's fucking bullshit. Why the fuck do why, why why the fuck should I go? Like this isn't right. You're gonna preach about fucking Jesus and all these fucking cunts who are, I don't know, goddamn neck beers and fucking dick beers and shit, raping all these fucking boys and girls, doing all this shit for their so-called God. Like you want me to believe in that, dude? Go fuck yourself. Oh my God. Hey, like, yeah, so. Mm. I smoke, dude. God. Damn it. Because that religion shit, dude, it, it, it did lead to my self-destruction. It did. I mean, right? I, because when you get told the truth in such a brutal fucking way, in such a fucking, like, backhand slap kind of way, it destroys you. And I had to kind of embrace that. And that was one of my first times, just kind of, boom, like, oh, shit, this is, this is real life. Like, whoa, what the fuck? 
And that self-destruction eventually led to steps and steps of self-actualization where I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I don't need religion. I don't need this shit. I have other things to inspire me, influence me, and keep me balanced. You know, you read all these books from the past. Like, one of my favorite books is The Prince by Niccolò Machiavelli. And aside from, like, kind of extreme political stances that the man takes, I just find his mind um, in terms of outlining his, his thoughts, strategies, and alongside that, I mean, his eloquence of how he put his words, I was just like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking zoned in. This is so fucking cool. But you draw inspirations and things from books like that, and it makes you grow. And I remember college too was a time where I was making friends of all fucking race, shapes, sizes, age, whatever the fuck, man. Like I was chilling with white dudes, white girls, black boys, black girls, Asian girls, Asian boys, fucking Spanish dudes, Spanish girls, like every motherfucker in the goddamn campus. Like you like that's why you get a lot of perspective. That's why you get a lot of like, oh, cool. Like, this is what the fuck is happening. That's kind of dope. And that's just one of those things where you have to enjoy the process in a way. And that's a lot of cliche that you hear from sports. You know, you got to enjoy the process, enjoy the process. Well, motherfucker, when you get to that process of self-destruction and you're you know, trying to figure a way out, you just got to enjoy the process of what you're doing. And of course, I mean, as long as you're not impeding anybody. And I always say this, no rape or murder. None of that shit. Fuck you. Like, no crimes either. Fuck you on that. If you could just avoid all that shit, there's plenty of things to enjoy throughout the process. And I don't mean the process like those fucking losers in Philadelphia at the 76ers. We're going to have the process of destroying ourselves. Well, the honest truth is you guys can't fucking draft. Hinky just has a fucking boner for picks and he has no eyes for real players. I mean, it maybe lands like at what? At the rate he picked all those players, like a 10% success rate? Get fucked. Enjoy the process. You have to fail in order to rise, right? That That's the beauty of sports, right? That's the beauty of a lot of these sports teams. Like, oh shit, like they won because it was years of just grinding it out and getting it in and... Ah, like the Seahawks. 1976, they were an expansion team. Absolute dog shit. I mean, they weren't the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but goddamn, they were terrible. But you had a Steve Largent. You had the Jim Zorn. You had the Kenny Easley. You had the Steve Rabel. Shout out to my guy, Steve Rabel. I fucking love you, man. But after all that shit, it was the process of, you know, heartbreaks and fucking learning and almost moving the fucking team away from the city and yada 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 then 20 fucking 14 the seahawks beat the shit out of the broncos in super bowl 48 to win their first ever fucking super bowl and obviously i mean different analogy of course team's ultimate goals is to get the trophy but in life that's kind of a similar thing you gotta enjoy the process you're gonna have heartbreaks you're going to have all this shit. You're going to self-destruct. But that will lead to some self-actualization. Which will eventually lead to some fucking enlightenment. And that's what the truth does, man. That's what the truth does. The truth also doesn't give a fuck about you, by the way. All right? It, like, it does not give a fuck about your few. And to quote Ben Shapiro, it doesn't care about you and your feelings. Facts don't care about your fucking feelings. All right? It's just there to do with what you want to do with it. That's knowledge. Knowledge is just a thing. What humans choose to do with it makes it good or bad. They're not going to teach you that shit in your fucking liberal arts fucking college classes. They ain't going to do that shit to you. But what the fuck do I know? Graduated like seven fucking years ago. UNLV. 
to really make much of a fucking career in either the hotel or retail or any of that shit that I was part of. And now I'm just sitting here talking philosophy, talking shit. But I'm in the process of self-actualization in, in you know, diff, you know, various parts of my life. You know, in certain parts of my life, I've reached enlightenment. Certain parts of my life, I'm still going through the self-destruction process. Because right? the human being is more than just one fucking thing. The human being is more than just this fucking race. The human being is more than his just fucking politics or his fucking religion. And you should ask her, dude, just fucking apply the principle to your own goddamn thing. I'm not going to fucking say because I'm not a goddamn woman. Fuck you. But God damn it, man. You will choose to be ignorant if you want. You can choose that shit. But it'll kill you. It'll kill you. You remain ignorant. Might as well call it suicide. You're only killing yourself. So don't be a fucking dumbass, kids. Don't be a fucking dumbass. That's all that shit is. And... God damn it, if I continue, I'm just going to sound like a bitter old man, so. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't really have a problem with that, but, you know, I don't want to <sighs> tire you goddamn kids out. So, ultimately, the truth is fucking horrifying. But that knowledge will free yourself from the shackles of mob think and brainwash state. Please, do that. For all of mankind, kids. Do that. Go ahead and just think for yourself for once. That shit's actually pretty good. Think for yourself. And <clears throat> the reason why I always say on this podcast, or any of my shit on my fucking, uh, you know, fucking YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, any of that social media shit, I will always say, if you don't want, if you don't want to fucking listen to me, you can fucking leave. You can literally leave any fucking time. I don't make anybody stay here. Never. Never. And you know what? I had to learn that the hard way. Yeah. That was another fucking self-destruction process where I actually put fucking money into fucking Facebook posts where I thought, cool, man, like maybe I should boost some posts, you know, spend a couple of dollars and, you know, get some, get some clicks, get some likes. But honestly, man, at this point, I'm not going to fucking peacock for your goddamn pleasure. I'm not. I'm just going to speak my goddamn mind and speak what I need to say and do what I feel is, I don't know, entertaining and funny in my eyes. I mean, ultimately, like, that, like all that you do is for you until, of course, you get a family, you know, children. And that's a whole nother story. But as, as a single dude right now, I'll tell you right now, like, work on you. Do you. Do what you got to do. And for God's sakes, guys. For God's sakes, stop getting behind mob think. Stop that shit. You got to stop that shit right now. This whole fucking situation in the world right now. Jesus fucking Christ. You go on Twitter any goddamn time. You just shake your head after two minutes and just drop your phone on the ground. Because that's fucking stupid. And God damn it, man. This is why normal social media is such an overblown funhouse mirror that you, it's just better to go on like some random other shit. Like, I don't know, sometimes 4chan, I guess. <laughs> Damn, you actually said that shit? Yeah, yeah, I did. Because they don't try to fucking censor you out there. You just say what you fucking want to say, and that's it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep getting behind the mob think. Keep trying to fucking suppress freedom of speech. Keep trying to do what you fucking think is just, but ultimately it's just leading to anarchy and chaos. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Keep convincing yourself. Keep fucking filleting yourself, you fucking morons. All right. The next episode on the Sky Lounge, 30 for 30 and 30, is fucking draining. And I want to relax, but 
there's a new blue fire inside me. It just feels like Azula, just fire. The dragon must fly and roar its flames to its distant lands. And no, motherfuckers, I'm not going to fucking commit no goddamn crimes, no rape, no murder, none of that shit. Calm down! Stop it! You fucking idiots! You can't read, now you can't hear or listen? Oh, great! It's a fucking metaphor! Self-actualization the fucking very thing we were talking about! God! Catch myself having to fucking specify stupid shit for stupid people! Yeah. That's why I need this shit. This is why I need this shit. It's fucking medicine. To deal with all the dipshits around me. And around the world. So, all right, motherfuckers. All right. I appreciate you dropping by this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge. Which is which is so fucking ironic. Because I just told you, don't fucking, don't fucking follow them all. But, listen. I would appreciate it if you did follow me at the Sky Lounge. If you did enjoy that shit, yeah. Be awesome if you fucking subscribe. Be awesome if you fucking follow. I appreciate any and everybody who listens. I truly, truly do. But all the links here at the Sky Lounge, you know, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music, and also check out at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. Till next time, kids. Fuck off.